What's, What's up, C3 gang? gang? It's your boy Maya. And it's your girl Rose. And today, 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 I will be doing my own personal QA. Ooh. And I'm gonna be the narrator. I'm gonna answer the question. Well, I wanted Maya to be included as well in asking the questions because I feel like it would be better that way. You know you need me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's do it. So the first question is, do you have any insecurities? And if so, how do you deal with them? Okay, so I used to have like four insecurities. It was my toes, my nose, my forehead, and my ears. Um, they're not my insecurities anymore. I've grown to like love everything about myself. Like you would never see me in two braids before because they show my forehead a lot. It shows my ears a lot. But now I'm just so in love with myself. I don't even care. So yeah, but I used to deal with them by like hiding it. Like I always have my hair out or I used to cut myself bangs to cover my forehead, my nose. There wasn't really much I could do about it. And my toes, I would just never show them. But now I always got my toes out, always got my ears out, always got my forehead out. I don't care. Second question. What's your daily curl routine? Okay. So first things first, water, a lot of water. And then I use Garnier Fructus Leave-In Conditioner. It's always good to change up your leave-in conditioner. Like, don't use the same one for a lot of months because your hair gets accustomed to it. And then, like, it doesn't really help with your curls anymore. Um, this Goddess Curls from Botanical Gel. I actually just put Maya onto this because I used this when I was in Dominican Republic. And it did me so good with my curls. So I highly recommend this. And then... Gel isn't so good for your hair. I don't put no gel in my hair, but I only use it to do my edges. So some gel and an edge brush, and you do your edges. Three, what do you look for in a good friend? What do I look for in a good friend? Um, honesty, like we could always keep it 100 with each other and just like never hide things from each other. And loyalty, like I need to know that you're gonna be down for me as much as I'm down for you because when I'm in a friendship, I'm all in. Like, I'm going to be there for you through everything. So I need that same energy back. Question number four. What is your favorite thing about living on campus? My favorite thing about living on campus is the fact that everything is, like, super accessible. Um, it only takes about, like, 10 minutes to get to class. Another thing I love about living on campus is that um, it's away from home. I get real tired of being in the city. So I just like being over here, it's like more calm. And I've always liked being like in the woods and like countrysides and that's like what it is out here. There's mad cows and it smells like horse poop all the time. And yeah, that's what I like. Also, I live with my boyfriend. So I like coming to dorms because I get to live with him. Question number five. How many kids do you want and how many years do you want them? So, I don't have a set date on when I want to have kids because I want to live my life. Like, I want to have my career going. I want to travel all around the world with Maya. Before we have kids, you know, that'll be cheaper. We just got to pay for two plane tickets instead of three. I know I don't want one, but I don't want like a whole bunch either. Maybe like two or three tops because I grew up being the only child up until I was like 12 around there. And I don't, I didn't enjoy being an only child. Question number six. What do you love about your relationship? So, there's a lot of things I love about my relationship. It's hard just to pick one. But if I had to pick just one, it would be that me and Maya are like best friends. Like, we have the most best relationship ever. We could do anything together. We could talk about anything together. I could be myself around him. He could be his self around me. And we just have like a really great bond. Like, no weird shit, but like, on some brother sister level like that's really that's really my man like that's what i love most about my relationship question number seven how do you feel about couples having each other's passwords i don't feel like there's nothing wrong with it because if you're together like you're supposed to trust each other so if like if maya was to ask me for my password it, it shouldn't be a problem for me to give it to him and if i was to ask him for his pastor, it shouldn't be a problem for him to give it to me because, like, that's the trust that we have. Um, personally, me and Maya don't have each other's passwords, 
but if it came down to it like i know it wouldn't be a problem exchanging it so i feel like like that's where i stand on it if it's asked for then it shouldn't be a problem but if it isn't then it shouldn't be a problem either because y'all should have that like trust within each other so yeah question number eight what is a movie that you wouldn't get tired of watching a movie that i would not get tired of watching is get rich and die trying by 50 cent that's my favorite movie ever i could sit down and watch that movie all day and be super satisfied question number nine how did you and Maya know you guys wanted each other? How did me and Maya know we wanted each other? Okay, so I had went back home and Maya had to stay in school because he was a part of the basketball team and the basketball team wasn't able to leave school. So when I had got home, I had ended up getting like super drunk one of the days that I was back home. And Maya had texted me on some, we rocking with each other, you not rocking with nobody else. I'm not rocking with nobody else. And that's just what it's going to be until we make it official. So that's just what it was. Like, he set that in stone. You rocking with me. I'm rocking with you. And it is what it is. And that's period. So after he said that, I was just like, mm, okay, I see. I like where you doing. I like where you coming from. So I agreed to it. And yeah, that's how we knew that we wanted each other. Well, Oh, that was just so sexy to me. He just told me what it was, and I was just like, okay, you don't gotta tell me again. And yeah. Question number 10. What's life plans after college? What do you want to do in life? Okay. My plans after college is obviously to go straight into my career. First thing I want to do in life is be happy. That's one. Whatever I do in life, I just want to be happy. I don't want to have a job that I'm going to dread to go to every single day, that I'm going to want to wake up and find a new way to call out every single day. I just want to be very happy in what I'm doing. Um, my career, I'm not sure exactly where I want to go in my career. I don't know if I want to work with people with developmental disabilities or if I want to work with kids yet. So that's still something that I'm learning myself. Hopefully I'll have it all together by the end of this year. Whichever route I choose to go, I just hope that I'm happy and that I love what I'm doing. Question number 11. Do you ever get homesick in college? No. I actually don't get homesick at all. Like I said, I love being away from home and being somewhere new in a new environment. I don't get homesick as much, but I do get food sick, if that makes sense. Like, I, I miss the bodegas on the corner. I miss fried chicken spots i miss basically everything that's not up here i miss that back home so that's what i miss i miss the food i don't miss anything else question number 12 how many siblings do you have i have benjamin jeremiah jonathan layla and Haley. i have five siblings Three of them are my stepbrothers, and two of them are my sisters. I come from a big family. Did you ever think you would be known or big? Um, I still don't think I'm known or big. So thank you for the person who asked that question because that means that you believe that. And I do believe that one day I'm going to be very known and very big, but not only me, just me and Maya. I believe that our YouTube channel is going to blow up one day and they're going to be these popping ass YouTubers and we're going to be making so much money and we're going to be traveling all over the world and we're going to be so happy. So, yeah, I believe that one day it will happen. But as of now, I, I believe we're still growing and we're still influencing people throughout each video. So not yet, but soon. Soon we will be very known and very big. What motivates you every day? What motivates me every day? I think what motivates me every day is the fact that I know I want to be successful in life. So it's like, there's no other way to go about it. Like, I have to get my degree. I have to get a good paying job. They're cutting the grass out there. You see, that's what I love about the country stuff. I know I want to be successful. So it's like, I can't be lazy about things. I have to like explore and gain connections from people. Another thing that motivates me every day is the fact that I have two little girls looking up to me. 
my two sisters, so I gotta be great for them because I want them to have a good role model. I want I want to be their role model. I just know I got two little girls looking up to me. My sisters tell me all the time that they love all the stuff that I could do. So I know they're watching me. I know they're probably watching this YouTube video right now because they're like my number two best supporters. What's your middle name? So, my middle name is something that I don't tell anybody because I don't really like it. But, I was just talking about how I don't have any more insecurities. So, I gotta tell you guys. My middle name is Arlene. So, my whole name is Rosalie Arlene Diaz. It's spelled A-R-L-E-E-N, not A-R-L-E-N-E. -E. Yeah. So, tell me what you think about my middle name. Before we get any further into this video, if you already stayed for this long, I need you to like, I need you to comment, I need you to subscribe and turn on that post notifications bell, please, please, please. I promise you won't regret it. But furthermore, question number 16. How did I know Maya was the one? So, it's funny because there's a lot of things that make me know, like reassure me that he's the one but if it was one situation i had to talk about this actually a pretty funny story is like one of the very first arguments we had it wasn't really an argument more like a disagreement i wanted him to make me soup and he didn't want to make me soup he didn't want to come downstairs to the room i was in to make me soup so when i got back home he was in my room and i still was mad at him for not making me the soup so i like told him to like leave my room like go to his room and so he grabbed all his things that were in my room and he left and no more than like two seconds later he came right back into my room he dropped all his stuff and he was like i'm not going nowhere so we could talk about this so we could go to sleep and that's that and then i just knew that like that right there just let me know he was the one because it's like he's not gonna let me go to sleep mad he's he's good with communication clearly like he wants to talk about anything like he wants to talk about what is making me mad so that we can get past it and you know any other boy would have just grabbed this stuff and left like you want to be petty you want to be mad about soup then fuck it but no maya made sure he stayed and made sure we was good before the night ended and that's how i knew it was the one i'm crazy but he's crazy too question number 17 how old are you stop right now and comment down below how old do i look how old do i look guys huh do I look like I'm 12? Do I look like I'm 23? I am actually 20. Yeah, I soon be legal in two months. Oh my god, my birthday is in two months. Question number 18. What are things you do to help yourself with self-care? Things I do to help myself with self-care. Okay. Um, I like to get, like when I'm feeling down and out, it doesn't help me when I feel ugly too so i like to get my nails done get my toes done get my eyebrows done get my hair done and if i have enough money get my lashes done too because when i feel pretty i feel good i do good so i feel like that's what i do to help myself with self-care you know if i have a face mask probably do a nice face mask um if I told Jeremiah that I'm feeling out of it, he would do something for me too to make me happy. So I would bother Jeremiah with something so he could make me feel good. And yeah, that's how I deal with my self-care. Question 19, which is the final question. Do we post every week or once every two weeks? Okay, so before I get into that last question, Maya's going to drop our Instagrams right here because we also do instagram snippet videos randomly either like once a week or maybe even twice a week if we have the time you know we do have to manage our time correctly between school studying going to the gym cooking cleaning youtubing so socializing as well so we try to do as much as we can last year last school year we were posting every friday this year we want to try to go for two videos every week but in order to drop two bangers every week we need you guys to comment any suggestions any feedback we need to know what y'all want to see we want to give y'all content that y'all want to see so you guys need to socialize with us 
drop some stuff in the comment follow us on instagram last year we dropped a video one time every week this year we want to go for two videos every week on youtube and one to two videos on instagram as well um i hope you enjoyed my personal q and a jeremiah is doing one next and i hope i got to all of you guys questions and tell your mother tell your brother tell your sister tell your uncle tell your mother tell your brother tell your sister tell your uncle hey